Welcome. Since today is Black Friday here in the United States, I figured I would do a video on dark mode inside of Fusion. But before we get to that, I wanted to announce a new 16-part Fusion Getting Started series that I created for Autodesk that's just getting released on their Autodesk Fusion YouTube channel. I show how to design a fishing reel and cover many different topics from sketching, modeling, modification, drawings, manufacturing, and configurations, to name just a few. So make sure you check that series out. I'll add a link to it in the description of this video. Now, let's take a look at that dark mode. So Fusion for the longest time has had a very light menu and white background. And one of the number one requests out on the forums was to have a dark mode. So Autodesk has created that dark mode option for you. So to change that, you go up to your preferences and you'll notice this theme right here is currently set to light gray. And this is actually a new theme also, uh, fairly recent. You'll notice there's this Fusion Classic and then light gray. Um, what's the difference? There's just some subtle differences. So for example, uh, take a look at this SVG icon and then also take a look at these little folders right here. If I go back to Fusion Classic, you'll notice some of the icons kind of change their color. So like this SVG icon and then here you'll see the folders are a little bit darker. They're kind of filled in. Uh, and so now there's this light gray mode, which just kind of lightens things up a little bit, makes things a little bit uh, more simple, I guess, on the screen. So that's one change that they made. But then the main thing here is they have this dark blue mode. So if I click on dark blue, you're going to see it change. I'm also going to talk about this match device theme, which is honestly the best way to make the change. But I'm going to show this dark blue. I'll hit apply and you'll see how we are now in like this dark mode, how it changed the menu across the top and the background. Now when I create, for example, a sketch, you'll see it's a much more pleasing on the eye. You'll see some subtle changes. So for example, now when I create a sketch, um, they're white lines instead of black lines for fully constrained geometry. So if I throw a dimension on here, you'll see how the lines turn white instead of black. So just kind of keep that in mind. There'll be some subtle differences. You'll notice like the dimension colors are now kind of like green um, instead of black, just so they're a little bit easier to see on the screen. I'll go ahead and extrude this just to kind of show you uh, what it looks like. Let's throw a fillet on here real quick and then maybe an, another fillet on this edge. But you can see how it's just much more you know, easy to see, uh, pleasing to the eye, not quite so harsh with that white background. I'm going to go ahead and change this back to the light gray really quick. And now I want to talk about this match device theme. And what this actually does is it analyzes what you have your computer set to. So for example, if I bring up my device settings, you'll notice that I'm currently in dark mode. And so if I were to choose match device theme and hit apply, it's going to switch Fusion into dark mode. If I were to switch my settings to be in light mode, you'll notice that Fusion switches into light mode also. So I think that's kind of a cool option inside of Fusion is it picks whatever your computer is currently set to. And what's nice about that is, you know, you might have multiple computers that you have Fusion on. So maybe your shop computer is in light mode, but your work computer is in dark mode. 
And when you log into either of them, it's going to set it to whatever mode that computer is currently set to. A couple more options um, if you want. You can come in here to the display settings environment and you'll notice it's set to theme as the default, but you can pick different backgrounds. So for example, dark sky, you can kind of see how that changes to more of a like a gray background. I'll just kind of go through these really quick. Gray room. Photo booth is the white, typical white one. We have tranquility blue. Infinity pool, which is kind of a bright background. River Rubicon. And then I recommend just leaving it set to theme. So that's how you go about creating the dark mode inside of Fusion. So on that topic, I want to know what you guys think. Do you want to see my future tutorials on this channel in dark mode or continue in the light mode? So I'm going to put a link to a polling question out there in the description of this video. If you don't mind answering that polling question, do you want to see future videos in dark mode or light mode? That would really help me out. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions about Fusion, please make sure you visit my webpage at cadedllc.com. And as always, have fun learning Fusion.